Hi, thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing, um, with the Instapot, we're going to be cooking sweet Italian sausages and uh, potatoes. So let's see how it comes out. First I'm going to do the sausages um, in the Instapot. Um, Instapot, Instant Pot, sorry. Um, I've already put the olive oil in here. Uh, just sprayed, I have this spray stuff that's olive oil. So I, I sprayed that in there. Um, I've got a cup and a half of water. And we got um, five sausages. So let's see how these are. These are not frozen, so they're thawed out. So let's see how they do. I'll put them right in. Stand up do this. Okay. So do that. Add the water. And now we put the cover on the right way. Let's see. Okay, so that automatically seals when you close the cover, so that's good. I'm going to hit the pressure button, uh, pressure cook button, and I'm going to set it. I'm going to set if it was frozen, um, 20 minutes. If it's um, thawed out, it's 15. So. Set for 15 and let's see how they okay. come out. So it just finished now. And uh, so that took, um, well, once it built up the pressure, it took 15 minutes. So let's let the steam out and right back when that gets done. So it's all done now. The steam just uh, got done uh, getting out of it, the little. Uh, I forget what it's called. The uh, pressure uh, button in the back popped down, which means I can open the cover safely. And let's see how they come out. I'll show. I'll bring the camera around and show you too. Hold on. All right. Check this out. This looks good actually. Kind of happy. I was a little nervous there for a minute. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do baked potatoes too, and then I'll do a presentation plate to show you uh, what it all looks like. And the reason I didn't do the potatoes first, because you would think that uh, potatoes are dense. So why wouldn't I do those first? Because it would stay hotter longer. The um, reason I did that is because after the potatoes are done, um, if you wanted to add cheese to it, like say, like I like cheddar cheese. Um, I don't actually have any, but if you do like it. Um, you could put cheese on it and it's so hot that the cheese will melt it right there and that'd be pretty good so um, but anyways let me take these out actually while we're here let's um, cut one and see how it looks okay let me just cut this in half and see how it looks Perfect. So cook perfect. So that's excellent. Looks good too. Making making me hungry. Okay. So I'm actually going to take all of these out, and then I'm going to and leave these aside, and then I'm going to cook the potatoes. And right. okay. So we're going to do um. Well, I don't want to say baked potatoes, but they're, um, we're going to cook potatoes in there. Um, I'm not sure what you call them in a pressure cooker. I guess steamed potatoes. Uh, anyways, but here they are. I did. Uh, I rinsed them off and everything. Um, I don't know if you have to wash them or whatever, but I did. Um, so a few important things we're going to do with these is you need a fork. Um, and what you got to do is you got to poke some holes in them and the reason for that is you don't want them to blow up in the or whatever, or whatever they'll do I don't know if they'll I don't know what they'll do but they might end up coming out not right if you don't do this so. okay did that we're going to be using 
this actually came with the instant pot um, it's a little tray thing there what it'll do is it'll keep it off the bottom just a little bit because you don't want the potatoes on the very bottom there because it gets so hot uh, it might singe it so I got a cup and a half of water put that in there and again I just got done doing the sausages so I, I dumped everything out and re-added more water to it I'm gonna put this in there and I'll show you after I get these in there, I'll show you what it looks like there. And I got four potatoes, so decent sized potatoes. I've never done this before, so I hope it does come out good. Um, I have high hopes on it. So we'll see though. Soon find out. Oh, it's gonna fit. Okay. Alright, they fit. Alright. So let's do this so um, this is the way we're going to do it so let me give a quick shot so there they are in there and there's a cup and a half of water and what we're going to do something a little different something I've, I've never again I've never done potatoes like this before so um, we are going to put the cover on Right away, there we go. Seal it. I'm gonna put on um, pressure cook and I'm gonna set it for 20 minutes. Okay, and so let's I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I don't think I am. Alright, um, I'll be back in 20 minutes and we'll see what it um oh so it just finished the 20 minutes under high pressure. Um, for the potatoes and what we're going to do now is we're going to hit the cancel button and we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes so it's going to it still has steam inside still really hot and what it's going to do it's going to naturally uh, let some of that steam out but still keep cooking things inside so we got another 10 minutes to go and then it's time to eat okay so I had these in the fridge there just for a moment just so they do want to let them sit out for a half hour um, I just finished I just finished the 10 minutes of sitting here, so let's release the pressure. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of pressure left in there, so that's why it's not coming out real quick. So, and let's see how they come out. I've never done this before, so I'm hoping it comes out really good. And now I'm going to make a plate up there, and I'll show you. I'm gonna, actually going to do, um, with the presentation plate, there's going to be peas in there, um, just because I feel like having peas. So, um, I didn't cook them in there. Um, I haven't had luck cooking peas in a pressure cooker. They seem to fall apart. So if anyone has any suggestions, um, leave it in the comment and um, I would appreciate it. Okay, let's uh, check it out. They look good. What are they cooked? All right. Put that down over there. Let's take one out. Oh, first let me, uh, I'm sorry, let me show you what it looks like. There you go. Look in there. Looks good. It smells good. Alright. And again, I do have that little basket there. I can't pull it out with the basket, but I think we get rid of that hot. So, put that right there this back here and let me cut the potato right here and then I'll make a presentation plate and see how it looks wow it cut right through that was this is definitely done wow that's great perfect okay let me put a plate together show it to you and um, I'm gonna have a bite Okay, so I finished with the presentation plate, so let me um, show you what it looks like. So we got our green bean, I mean, I'm sorry, green beans. We got our peas, we got the sausage, and potatoes. The potatoes are really hot, so I'm actually not going to try the potatoes yet, but I will show you that they are done. And let me, I think I'm going to use the, use the fork for that. So, okay. So as you can see, 
Easily did it. Easily done. Look at that. It's really good. And the sausage. Well, it's tough to cut with one hand the way I'm cooking it, but okay. So you see the sausages, they're perfectly done. Let's try it. Mm. Excellent. Mm. They come out excellent. That's um so that's a sweet Italian sausages that I did. Not frozen. I'm gonna try this. This is gonna be really hot, but I am gonna give this a shot. A little um actually try just the way it is. Well, they're done perfectly though. The potatoes are excellent. Everything's done. Sauce for the potatoes done perfectly. So everything came out great. Um, I'm really happy with it. Again, with the peas obviously I didn't cook in there because um, I had trouble with those. They fall apart. I love peas. Okay, that's it. So that's um, potatoes, sausages in the instant pot. Uh, pressure cooker, six quart. And um, I call it an Insta Pot sometimes, forgive me. Um, anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. Appreciate it.